subscribe to get wow videos and press the notification button so that you can never miss any video assalamu alaikum friends how are you hope you are doing very fine so i am atik janasawan and today i am gonna show you that how will we do response spectrum analysis of a simple 2d frame let's start let's start with a simple 2d frame so what we have to do we have to first define the response spectrum pattern for the b for this other frame so what will we do we will have to go to define tab and from here we should have to go to the functions and here we will go to response spectrum now what we have to define in response spectrum first of all we will have to choose our function type to be add so first go over here and according to our country we are having ubc 97 as our response spectrum code so what we have to do we have to add this as a new function now look here it has just added a function if you move your cursor out here it will show you the coordinates so you can just rename your function over here you can name this according to your own desire like response spectrum now there are different parameters we have to define so there first is seismic coefficient ca and seismic coefficient cv so these parameters are taken from the code or the from the document of sca uh, but uh, these are the default parameters you can change it according to your desire so so you can change it you can change the damping ratio so normally we take the damping so normally we can the damping factor damping ratio factor of 5% you can take this damping ratio 5 to 20% 5 to 15% normally you can change it according to your desire but let's keep it here as a default setting so you can just convert this to user defined if you want to define your own spectrum here if you want to define the factor about the period and acceleration so if you press ok over here and press c response spectrum has been defined now press ok again so our response spectrum pattern has been defined now we have to define a load combine a load case for our response spectrum so for that we will move to define and here we have to define load case so here we have to see that it's already been defined as a dead and murder road as a load case name but we have to add a new load case name we will click on the add new load case and here first we have to change it to the response spectrum load case type is changed to the response spectrum and here you can set definition name whatever specification one or you can just change it to the response spectrum as well as rs response spectrum so your load case name will be rs response spectrum so there are different combinations cqc square root response spectrum an absolute method gmc method so you can choose according to your uh, according to your desire so there are some defined factors you can define them or you can just keep it as a and defined these parameter have been defined by the code you have selected previous which in our this which in my case is ubc 97 so model load case will be model because we want to define it we want to analyze it through model case so here you can set the srs and absolute as a direction combination now in the load applied section we have to define scale factor because we want to see the acceleration in terms of g so we will have to define it in terms of g so we have unit defined here as in kip feet feet so i need to define here as 32.2 so this 32.2 will convert our answer will convert our response to the in terms of g so press add over here so this has been added and there is model damping constant so you can change this constant as well because you have to check modifier you can change this to constant damping for our mode and related damping mass damping but let's keep it as a constant and the constant value is 0.05 means 5 percent press ok and press ok and ok our here so our model is already for analysis so now first we need to 
set the analysis option so we will restrict our analysis type to plan plan and now press ok so now we will have to run the analysis so in the run the analysis tab we do not need to run the dead load pattern and similarly we do not need to run the model so we only want to run response spectrum because we are doing here response spectrum analysis so if you want to carry on around the slam load then you can follow the dead and model load to the run action so after setting it to run press run now so here is the deform shape of our model so if i just move it to the xz plane so see this is deflection shape under the response spectrum of the structure so if you want to see the forces your joint forces you can click on the joints and from here set your gas net to the response spectrum and press ok so look here it will show you the reactions of the structure so if you want to see it into the tabular form so go to display and go to the tables show tables from here what i want to see i want to see the joint output of the structure so if you just expand it what do you want to see i just want to see the displacement of the reactions so just uncheck all the uncheck all the direction and check the displacement option only and from here you have to select load gas here just select only response spectrum and press ok and press ok over here again so look here it shows you the tabular results of the joint displacement that concludes the response spectrum analysis tutorial so if you like the video press the like and do share it with your friends and don't forget to press the red button or subscribe down that video thank you